Hey, what up guys? Sanitary 103. I'm in my kitchen once again and in today's video I'm going to be making a Mexican style spaghetti squash. This recipe is going to be similar to a Mexican rice bowl but we're going to be replacing the rice with squash which is lower carb so it's a better um, alternative. So what you want to uh, do first is um, you want to pick up your uh, squash. I got this at my local store right here and this thing's pretty big and then you want to just you want to get your knife. You want to pierce it uh, about a good three or four times. So you just want to be very careful though. So I'm going to be extra careful. You just want to jab it a little bit. Okay, this is kind of freaking me out. You know what guys? Um, I'm extra paranoid. I'm not, I'm not going to the ER today. So F that. I'm going to wear some glovers. Although these are really thick. <laughs> Um, hold on, hold on guys. I'm gonna get some better gloves. Alright, I got some better gloves, okay? So you just wanna turn it and you wanna just pierce it a little bit. Get it some air. Just kinda move it around. Alright, just a couple more. Just kinda rotate it. I'm supposed to give it a little bit of uh, air because you're gonna be putting it in the uh, oven in a second. And then also you wanna, um, Get some shredded chicken. If you look right here, you can buy shredded chicken at the market already made, but I use the crock pot and um, I'm gonna shred that chicken breast in a little bit. So you want some shredded chicken, you want your squash, obviously. Well, before I forget, before you do that, you wanna preheat your oven to uh, 375 degrees and get a little baking sheet right here. And you're gonna just put the spaghetti squash um, on the uh, pan for about an hour. So this one takes a little bit of uh, time. If you want to cut the um, baking time in half, you could split this all the way down the middle and then put it in probably for like a half an hour. But that's pretty dangerous. It's a little bit hard. I don't want to do that. So um, this is probably not a meal you want to do like during the work week when you're busy, but it's on the weekend right now. So anyway, we pop this in the uh, oven for uh, one whole hour, okay? All right, so let's put this big thing in. Put the whole thing in like that. It's really, really self-explanatory. See that? Make sure there's enough room right here. I had to move the tray. And I'll see you back in one hour. It's been about an hour. I took the uh, squash out of the uh, oven and um, it did get a little bit burned right here, but don't worry, you're not gonna eat that anyway. So um, before I cut this, uh, I'm gonna show some of the other ingredients you're gonna need. Um, you're gonna need some enchilada sauce right here. And then here's that chicken breast that you saw in the uh, slow cooker. I shredded it up off camera. And then I have some cilantro, and I got some uh, black beans. This is organic from Trader Joe's. Oh, and then I poured the uh, enchilada sauce in here, and this is about a cup's worth. And then I just have some uh, corn right here that I have prepared. So you want to get a knife, and you want to cut this right down the middle. So if you want to just come closer, and it's really soft, it's going to split right in half. Be very careful when you cut it. Now you want to scoop out all the seeds. And then the other one. Now you want to get a fork and now you want to shred it up. Kind of like a rake. Turn it around a little bit. It'll come off pretty easy because it's really soft. And the second one. Now that that's finished, let's go back to the bowl right here. And go back to our ingredients and you're going to combine these ingredients. So let's go put the uh, chicken in. It's a couple of handfuls of cilantro. Doesn't have to be exact measurement. Then the uh, one cup of the enchilada sauce. Add some corn right here. great and just a handful of black beans it's gonna kind of eyeball it I'm gonna make it to a similar ratio to the corn so it's one spoonful two and three that's good now you just want to mix the ingredients with the spoon so you just kind of want to get in there like that you 
want to infuse all these flavors, get to the bottom and mix it around. You can smell that right now, it smells good. All right, so now let's go add this ingredients, come back to the uh, squash, and we're gonna put this on top. So uh, once for my wife, once for me, so just wanna put it on top. So my wife's gonna have the one on the left. She's adding a little bit of cheese on top. That's completely fine. I don't like cheese, so that's optional. But while she's doing that, um, you wanna go to a custom broil. You're just gonna do this just for like, what, a minute or two. Because I don't have cheese on mine, it might get a little bit dry when I broil it. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more enchilada sauce on top. So let me pour that in just a little bit. So I'm gonna put this in the uh, oven, 500 degrees custom broil. And a good way to tell if it's done is the cheese is gonna get melted and you wanna take it out. So let me do that right now. Back in the oven. And I'll see you in a couple minutes. Alrighty, a couple minutes. So let's take it out. The one on the left is the melted cheese, it looks good. Mine on the right, that looks beautiful. And look at that, that looks absolutely beautiful right there. Look at all the colors and stuff, it's pretty hot. I'm gonna try to take a small little bite on camera. I don't wanna burn myself though, but let me get a fork. Okay, a little bit of the sauce and the cilantro. Right, I'm pretty close. <laughs> it's pretty good, guys. So, hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Give it a try. Mexican style spaghetti squash bowl. Comments, questions, always welcome. I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios. It seems to be more frequent where even if I get a good amount of sleep and I feel good in the morning, um, I still feel tired, more tired, more fatigued. I need more.